Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. So today I've got this. We have two broken toy slot machines that I got off eBay. I bought them because I thought they were real slot machines and I thought I could do something with the parts. But when I found out, because I only put a small bid on them, and then it said pay now a few days later, I went on eBay and it turns out I won them. But I read through the description and their toys, sadly. But I paid under a pound for them, so it's not the end of the world. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take them apart and see what's in there, if there's anything useful in there, any money in them. Because you never know. I think I gave one a shake. Yeah, there's something in there. As you can see, it's broken as anything. Same for that one. Yeah. But yeah, be interesting to see what's inside them anyway. I take them apart if there's anything useful I can do a project with or what have you. So I'll go get some tools, start taking them apart, and let you know if there's anything good in there. All right, guys, we are back. I have dismantled dash destroyed the broken slot machines completely. Uh, they came apart with screws mainly, but some were hidden behind stickers and I didn't really have time to look through them. Just take them apart nicely. Mechanisms are pretty basic. It's just spring loaded up here. Then we'd have the reels here. I've took them out. I might use them for something or other. I'm not too sure. It's all pretty much plastic. Not very good stuff. This one seemed to be a little bit better made. This one had a lump of, I uh, what? well I hope it is cement in this bag here. Don't really want to touch it too much. Yeah, all of this I'm classing as rubbish pretty much. Nothing good, a couple of uh, circuit boards, but nothing cool looking really out of them. Handles were plastic, not very nice to be honest. There's one of the reels there. We've got these over here. And this is what I class as the good stuff that came out of it. So in one, we got a nice lump sum of 16p, which is good to know we got some money back. We also got the reels. I prefer these ones, they're a little bit more colorful and interesting, I think. Might be able to do something with them if I have a little project coming up i don't know i'll see i'll keep them to one side anyway for now the reels were on this metal rod that just goes through and obviously they just spin like that they also had these grooves in which i don't know was probably some sort of mechanism to make it win on certain spins and stuff like that i'm not too sure they've all got it so I imagine that's how the mechanism worked and the wind play worked. So they're all slightly off center. So that's that. We also had a battery in one and we also found a Nintendo DS stylus. For some reason was in the back of one. But what I did find in one was quite a nice little bell mechanism that might come in handy for a project. Hear that? Let it spin. Yes, that's quite a nice little thing there. So anyway, yeah, that's what I think useful stuff was in there. All of that going to the tip, load of rubbish, and all this may may come in useful somewhere we'll see more than likely though we'll end up at the tip <laughs> yep so anyway that was our two toy broken slot machines so in future if you see a slot machine on ebay going cheap make sure it you know, make sure it's a real one and not a toy fake one like i did <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching guys 
If you like the video, there's more on the channel, so you can subscribe and see some more. Okay. Made such a mess. Alright, hopefully I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye for now.